Hi guys, Sheehan Graham here. What I'd like to share with you today is um, Thai grappling. There's a couple of basic positions that I sort of learnt on my journey forward. I've got Andrew who's going to assist me here. I kind of grouped them in three levels. Level one is your top lock. Level two, you'll find that you know a mixture of the MMA type naming, collar and tie, but also sort of your inside group. And then there's sort of level three, which I really developed when I was doing my full contact fighting, throwing elbows. So I'll show you all three which you can experiment with. As a beginner student, I would encourage you to try and get comfortable with level one and level two. Don't worry about level three just yet. Own the first few and then to progress, uh, progress onward. So level one with my good friend Andrew is hand. And usually I'll find it doesn't really matter which hand is on top. The main thing is getting hand on the crown of the head and cupping and the other hand coming in and controlling the wrist. You'll notice I'm not actually using my thumb to grab the wrist. It's just like a hooking motion. This is done without gloves, but works really well with gloves. Again, from one, two, and elbows in on that collar. And you'll find that obviously in on the collarbone here, I can really use that to pull Andrew's head down, but also help to steer in the direction I'm looking for. Now, a couple of movements that I want you to practice with this is the step and the turn. So once I've got that dominant hand position, keeping my hips in and back straight to the best of my ability, obviously not overdoing it and not miles away. I want to be able to throw some solid knees, but also I want to be able to stuff Andrew's knees. For example, if I have my hips out, I can knee yes, but Andrew equally has the same opportunities. So hips in, when I want to knee, step out, drive forward, and then obviously reset back in. When I want to turn the opponent, I'm going to use my left leg to step and then right leg to turn 90 degrees and fire with that leg. So from here, and I'll do a couple of angles guys so you can see, left leg I'm stepping, you won't see that just yet, right leg stepping around. As I do so, I'm using my left elbow to push and obviously turning the body towards the direction I'm going. So turn. And knee. So I'm going to do it from this angle so you guys can see. Again, hand on top, left step, using the left turn, right pull, and then knee. I'll go one more time this way so you can see. Again, from here, left step, turn, and knee. Now, obviously, that works both left and right side, depending on where your opponent's moving. So again, from there, level one, it's hand on top, wrist position, Step, and turn, and knee. Now, the only variances with the other two positions are hand posture. So from here, that's all great. But I want to make sure now I maintain and can work Andrew's body a little bit more with my knees. For example, if I have two hands high, I can throw knees, but there is an opportunity for Andrew to have a tight guard with his hands in and may not necessarily get the knees the way I want. So level two, I'm going to have... Hand on top, other hand inside the arm or the bicep, which allows me to lever and knee when I want. Same position as I showed you before, guys. I can step, I can turn and pull. What's good about this one is I can reverse it quite well. Step with the right foot this time. Lever up and turn and knee. I'll show you that from this angle. Crown. Instead of left step and pull, which is fine, I've got my right leg step, lever up, and you'll notice you've got plenty of opportunities to throw those knees. Third and final one. Again, I said, do this as a, only other two, but do this as the last resort. This is where instead of hand controlling, I've got both hands inside. And the reason for this is, when fighting, full contact tie boxing, you want to be able to throw those elbows effectively. One thing I wouldn't say is just leave these hands where they are. You definitely do transition a lot between all of them. But from here, both hands are out. I can control, I can turn, I can twist and strike at will. So level one, top lock. Level two, hand around the neck, inside arm. And level three, both hands in. Have fun, try it, see how you go with it, and let me know if you need any other uh, assistance throughout class. See you next time.